Welcome to CERT Sumbak Farm. I bring you another edition. Today I want to show you what I brought our guns. I've also brought some mineral rocks. Uh, mineral blocks for them to lick. This is what they call swords. Uh, as the gods come and lick this, it will give them a thirst. They are getting, they are getting minerals from here. They are getting some vitamins, but they are also having thirst so that they can drink a lot of water. You want your gods to drink a lot of water. When they drink a lot of water, they eat a lot of food, you know that your gods are going to produce for you. They will also look big, their coat will be shiny, they will be looking beautiful, and you will be able to get your profits from your gods, you will be able to make your money from your gods, because you are giving them what is required. Just like every human being needs minerals and vitamins and proteins and carbohydrates and just a balanced diet, also, your gods need a balanced diet. They need to be boosted. They need to be helped to do well. And so we give them also some other minerals. So I brought the minerals uh, together with uh, some plants to give them proteins, uh, some shrubs to give them proteins, and some pellets to give them also some needed uh, protein and needed uh, minerals that they may not get just from their daily intake of hay, uh, daily intake of grass. Uh, so this is uh, going to give them some supplements that they need. So we'll put uh, a block in each, a block in each pen. So I bring you also vitamins to put in water. We put some of uh, the vitamins in water so that when they drink they are also getting the vitamins from the water. Uh, it is important that we boost them from all sides, from the water, we boost them also, we boost them not just the water, we boost them from the salt or the mineral blocks, we also boost them from the feed. So it is important that they get all the requirements that they need. It is important that you make a plan for them. Doing goat farming is very uh, profitable, but for you to see your profit, you must invest in your goats. Make sure that they are getting what is required. Don't just leave them to be eating just hay and grass. Allow them to get also supplements that you get from the store. So I got this from the store just to supplement on what they are getting. I got a packet of Lucerne seed. Lucerne seed. I have two packets uh, of Lucerne seed here. And uh, we planted some, but because of a drought, the Lucerne seed didn't do very well. So we we'll want to replant uh, where we had planted and see if we can uh, have uh, at least some people water it and see if we can uh, make sure that we have this. Lucerne is good uh, for your gut, uh, um, for your kettle. Lucerne is good. It has got enough protein to boost their body weight, to increase their body. If you want your guts to look good, to look nice, to be shiny, you need to plant uh, lucerne seed. Lucerne seed will help your guts look healthy and big. They'll look nice. And you are able to compete on the market when you are feeding them right. You need to feed them properly. You need to feed them right so that you get the best from your guts. You give them the best and they'll give back the best to you. 
You know, when you invest in, in them, they will invest back into you. When you plant in them, they'll plant back into you. So you must know that uh, what you make happen for them, they'll make happen for you. So you put in your very best and they'll give you back the best. They'll take care of themselves, they'll feed themselves, and you will enjoy farming. The farming should be enjoyable. You need to love what you're doing, you need to enjoy what you're doing, and you need to put in all your effort. You put in all your energy, you put in your passion, you put in your mind, you put in your research, you put in everything so that you are able to so that you are able to get the best out of it yes it is what it is planting them sow a seed in them you will reap back a hundredfold sixtyfold or thirtyfold uh, according to how much you are sowing in them and the quality of the seed that you are sowing in them, the quality of the feed that you are putting in them. I encourage you to plant in them. Yes, I want you to like my video, share, and also to subscribe if you are a newcomer to my channel. Subscribe, like, make a comment, and share this video. Let's go on this journey together. Let's make sure that we are eliminating eradicating poverty in uh, our countries, eradicating poverty, eliminating poverty from Africa, eradicating poverty, eliminating poverty from the world. Let's invest. Let's make sure that we are doing our part, leaving the world better than we found it. Let me show you some other thing that I brought. I also brought copper sulfate. Uh, copper sulfate is good uh, to treat wounds and uh, to make sure that uh, you are uh, reducing on the infections, outside infections. So copper sulfate, you just get a teaspoon put in water. This is for foot bath. This is for foot bath. So I brought some copper sulfate for them. Uh, I, I was getting this just to come and showcase on what is needed at the farm. Uh, this is what I've just come with uh, right now. I brought stuff that is needed at the farm. So copper sulfate is needed at the farm for your food bar. I've also brought tikil. Tikil is for uh, dipping. We make sure that we dip once a week. Uh, we spray them once a week. Um, we have improvised for the smaller animals. We have cut uh, a piece of a, a, a tank where we dip them for the bigger animals. Uh, those that cannot be handled uh, nicely, we spray them. But most of those that are manageable, we take them and dip them into a tank. So we use this. This will help you fight the mange. This will help you fight the ticks. It will help you fight the fleas. It will help you uh, fight the lice or anything that would be any parasite that is uh, eating or feasting on them from the outside. So apart from the injectable ones uh, to fight parasites, to fight anything that is attacking them, you need to also have your deep. So I also brought deep uh, so that uh, we, we keep uh, our stock uh, always restocked. Um, and whenever they are running out, my team calls me to say bring some stuff that is needed. And you also need to change your deep. You need to change your dip. After some time, make sure that you change your dip so that the parasites do not um, become used to your dip or evolve and begin to become resistant fighting your dip. So change your dip at least uh, every either after three months or six months, change your dip. But you need to consult with the people that are mentoring you or people that you are getting your dip from. I also bought broad snake repellent. I brought snake repellent. This is to help us uh, at least protect the animals from any snakes that would want to stray here. 
you just spray it around your structure and then spray it around your fence you spray around outside the fence just to make sure that the snakes are rebuilt from where the animals are so this is another important thing that you need to have at your farm next time i do come and bring you stuff i'll show you some of the things that we need to use at the farm i'll come and show you some of the machines that uh, you need to have at the farm small small little uh, things that you need to have at the farm to make sure that you are uh, doing your job right to make sure that everything is going smoothly so this time i just wanted to show you some things that i brought this time and uh, i want you to please share this video somebody may be helped by the information they may also know what to do um, next in their farming as they go on this journey yes let's share the video let's subscribe let's like let's leave some comments and i thank all of you who have been sending comments and some of you have called me uh, to just find out um, on how things are going or just to consult and what to do uh, i appreciate uh, you guys following me i appreciate you being on this journey with me let's uh, continue working together let's continue to do this work uh, of eliminating poverty, of helping people come out of their dire situation, out of their need. Let's introduce them to farming. Farming is uh, it is open to all. You can start your goat farming with only two goats, a male and a female, or with three goats, one male, two female, and you'll keep uh, increasing. If you do it well, you'll find that in a short period of time, you will be able to have enough resources to help you manage your home, to help you manage your dream, to help manage uh, what you want to do in life so join me even in this journey this important journey of farming of agriculture business let's make it happen together thank you very much for following uh, what, what? <laughs>